<laughs> Listen, this um this last topic before we get up out of here. Um, you know, is marriage still a, a, a viable concept? You know, we talked about this with oh, the di- got that. She yeah, we, we talked about this with the divorce attorney. Um, you know, and obviously we have these relationships. It seems like nobody what he's kind of saying, nobody wants to be in relationships anymore. Yeah. Nobody seems to value um relationship marriages, relationships anymore. Motherfuckers gonna be baby daddies, baby mamas. I, I don't know what's going on, but I do for me, I do know. The nuclear family, at least to me, is the solution. We have to get back to that. Mm-hmm. Um, but do you think marriage is still a viable concept in today's modern era? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And and the fact that you said that, you know, you, it seems like no one wants to be in relationships anymore. I don't know if you guys are on the same timeline as me. That's all we talk about. Mm-hmm. Back in COVID 2020, it was entrepreneurship. Like that was the thing. How are we gonna make more money because people were so yeah. afraid about losing their jobs? Now mm-hmm. All we talk about is relationships. Yeah. We all want to be in them. We all want to be able to function and, and be healthy and fulfilled by them. We absolutely want those things. We are afraid. Mm-hmm. We are afraid. And so I'm so thankful that we have platforms like this that are having honest conversations with people who are reasonable and fair. Because what's happening is that there's a message that's being perpetuated throughout society, especially black America, that marriage is useless. Um, men are the, are the ones left holding the bag. There's no value in it anymore. And that's absolutely just not the case. It's just not the case. Yeah. As you mentioned before, if we're looking back, civil rights era, right, up until the 80s with the crack epidemic, when we had a two-parent household, children were performing better, financial finances were more solid, Suicide there was more there was more home ownership. Yeah. We, in every category that you can measure success, right? So mental stability, financial mm-hmm. stability, general happiness. When we had a nuclear family, we were doing better as a society. Mm -hmm. Protection of women was, you know, we we had communities, so our women didn't feel like they were less protected um, than they do, obviously, today. I think Buster Rhymes, he said it in a podcast recently where he was talking about how back in the day, even if you saw a mother, like, from the, on the block, like, somebody, she's carrying her bags, everybody got to put their spliff out, get her bags, walk her to her, her, to her building, up the stairs and not letting her hold a thing because because that nucleus was still there even if maybe you didn't even if your parents weren't together you know a bunch of people on the block whose parents were together yes. you know what the expectation was in front of a woman mm-hmm. right which is to not curse to not smoke you know what i'm saying help her with her bags and that she could trust that this gentleman it wasn't at all odd mm-hmm. nowadays if a man says hey what's up ma it's a threat yeah, you can't walk me to my door. You're gonna know where I live. Right. You're gonna try to bust through the door, right? We, but there's no trust. There's right. no trust on 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 in, in any scope. So 100. percent When men are in relationships, because when a man is in a relationship in a marriage, he's he's more than likely to go to the doctor, right? Like there's studies on this yes. that show that they catch things a lot quicker, sooner, faster. Married right. men live longer. Married men are are healthier. Married men make more money. Make there was more there money. was um a clip that was circulating about a gentleman who says that he puts on a wedding ring when he goes into interviews, corporate interviews, and and has meetings because married men are perceived as more stable. Wow. It's a win across the board. But again... I'm about to do that shit. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Right, And and, be like, yeah, you know, I'm just smoking for a new job. What color your ring going to be? Black or silver? Huh? I said, what color your ring going to be? Right. What what color your ring? I don't know what color should be. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I need to know all the facts. Like, you know? Right. So, so absolutely <laughs> healthy marriages, mm-hmm. healthy emphasis on go. health. Because any of us could get married any day of the week. We could walk out right on Canal Street and we could pick up somebody. Right. It's not about getting married, it's getting married to the right person yeah. that has a similar vision who's going to lead us not to hell. Right, but in the right direction that we both decide is what we desire and require for ourselves and our future family. Mm-hmm. So yes, healthy marriages are the way for us to turn society around. Period. Mm-hmm. Mm, that Man. is a fact. That's a good question. We met at Starbucks. Oh. <laughs> we met at. We were eighteen. Um, maybe I was seventeen. He was eighteen. He was working at Starbucks, and uh, we met downtown Brooklyn. Bag me. Right. Um, but the thing that. is, is that um, I was staying here in New York. He was going away to college in California. And both of us had some insight like this ain't going to work. So we kind of just fizzled. We continued our friendship through Facebook. And then he DM me. Right. In the DM. So when we think dating apps is it, I'll go down Instagram, in the DMs, huh? Facebook, like, okay, like, LinkedIn. <laughs> LinkedIn is an amazing LinkedIn. dating opportunity. Yeah, these oh, people are already right. vetted. You right. relatively know where they work. 
you know their real first and last name. It gives you a lot of insight that people don't really recognize. Any kind of space that allows you to meet people is a dating app or a mm. dating opportunity. So you got to mm. use it. I, love yeah, I never that. even thought about LinkedIn like that. Yeah. You know, just to go back to what you said about women, you know, going out in public more and, and meeting men. You know, one of the issues that I'm hearing from men is that, you know, it is harder to approach women because they do have that guard up. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? They might have that rest in bitch face. Like, it makes it I very un unapproachable. Sometimes y'all can be a little bit unapproachable. Like, you know what I mean? So that does make it a little bit more difficult. Or, you know, a lot of men have experienced a lot of rejection from yes. our women where we just be like, man, you know what? I'm just, she don't look like she want to be approached right now. Or yes. I want to be perceived as a creep because, yes. you know, mm -hmm. you know, we had an incident where somebody seen a, an attractive woman and he gave her a compliment. Hey, you look attractive, beautiful. And she just went off on a tangent on him. And he's like, yo, Ooh. damn, it wasn't even like, it wasn't like, yo, ma, you look good. He, it was a very respectful um, way he approached her. And yeah. she was like, yo, I know I look good. I don't need you to tell me I look like, you know what I mean? So it was like, damn, all right, well, that's what yeah. I get for shooting my shot. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I do agree. We do have to start meeting each other more in public, but being more open to, you know what I mean? Being able to talk to each other. Like, I'm tired of going to parties and motherfuckers using their phone, don't want to dance, y'all want to communicate, y'all don't want to mm, do nothing. Like, you know what I mean? Crazy. And club culture is another thing we have to talk about, but we right. won't say that for another show. 